Simultaneous equation 3. What you need to note about this set of examples is that we might have to multiply both equations so that we get coefficients of one of the variables the same. So, as always, let's label our equations. Now, what I'm going to do is going to times the top one by 2, so that gets 6y, and the bottom one by 3, so I get 6y as well. So, let's do the top one. So, 2 times 3y is 6y, plus 2 times... 2x is 4x, and 2 times 5 is 10. Remember to multiply everything by that value. Let's do the same with the next one. 2y times 3 is 6y, uh, plus 3 times 5x is 15x, and 7 times 3 is 21. Okay, now let's take them away. 6 take away 6y take away 6y is nothing, and which is good because we've eliminate, eliminated a variable. 4x take away uh, 15x, is I'm going to get negative 11x. 10 take away 21 gives me negative 11. So divide it both sides by negative 11 and I get x equals 1. Now let's sub that into equation 1. So we get 3y plus 2x. Well, x is 1, so that's 2 times 1 is equal to 5. Solve this equation. 2 times 1 is 2, so we get 3y plus 2 equals 5. Take away 2 from both sides and we get 3y equals uh, 3 divide by 3 we get y equals 1. Now let's check y equals 1 and x equals 1 in the other equation. That's equation 2. So we're going to get 2y, so 2 times 1 plus 5x, 5 times 1. Well, 2 times 1 is 2, 5 times 1 is 5, so that's 7 as we need the equation to be. So lastly, just write my answers x equals 1 and y equals 1. Right. Second example, so first label my um, equations. Now I need to make sure that the coefficients of at least one of the variables are the same. So this time I'm going to multiply the top one by 2 and the bottom one by 7. So let's do that. Um, so let's multiply everything by 2 in the first one. So we're going to get 4p minus 14e is equal to 48. Now let's do it for the second one. We're going to get 21p, uh, 2 times 7 is negative 14e, and 19 times uh, 7 is 133. Okay. Now this time I'm going to um, again take away them. So 4p take away 21p will give me negative 17p. Negative 14e take away negative 14e, well that, that gives me nothing. And 48 take away 133 is is negative 85. Divide by 17, we get p equals 5. Let's sub that into equation 1. We're going to get 2 times p, so that's 5, minus 7e is equal to 24. So we get 10 minus 7e is equal to 24. Take away 10 from both sides, and we get negative 7e is equal to uh, 14. Uh, then divide by negative 7, we get e is equal to negative 2. Now let's try those out in the other equation, just to check if we were doing it correctly. So put that into 2, so we're going to get 3p, so 3 times 5, minus 2e, so 2 times negative 2. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So it's 15 take away negative 4, which is 19. So the last thing to do is just write out my values at the end, p equals 5 and e equals negative 2. Now as a side note, what you could have done instead, to make this easier and get rid of some of the negatives, is, is put equation 2 above equation 1 and then do 2 take away 1.